Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, gonna do a little. Well, I am in the midst of breakfast. Yes. Doing breakfast this morning. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. How y'all doing this morning? Top of the morning to you. sausage too about to take them out how many of you add sage to your sausage I've already done bacon how many of you add sage to your sausage you know a lot of times sausage don't have enough sage can you see that sage in that sausage I incorporate sage into my sausage Sometimes you can have a good quality sausage at the store, but they just don't have enough sage in it. So I do my own. And I use rubbed sage. Make sure it's rubbed sage. Good morning. So let me tell y'all what I'm doing. So I, I'm doing some, I'm caramelizing some sweet potatoes because I'm going to make some sweet potato drop biscuits. Yeah, and today I have a Zoom class. And I'm looking so forward. Oh, Zoom. I like to fly far away from here. So I'm doing Zoom. And if you want to join in on the Zoom today, there is an event going around by Mama's Comfort Cooking. It's a paid event for $1.99. You can watch the Zoom class. Now, the people that paid to be in the class are the ones going to get all of this. All of this. So, if you want to know what's going on today, um... I feel better today than I did yesterday. We laid our friend to rest, and it was a lady here from Arkansas. When I got out my car, my husband pulled me up to the chapel. And when I got out the car at the funeral home, she walked up on me and she said, Who are you? Yeah, I'm going to do me some sweet potato biscuits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all make them or not, but okay. I got to put this in the sink. Hold on, because I'm getting ready to do my eggs, too. Good morning. So she walked up to me and she was like, who are you? And I was like, do I know you? Because I knew everybody there, but I didn't know her. And she said, my sister is a big fan. You mama's come for cooking. I was like, yep. So she was like, can I get some pictures? Yep. I'm just a regular old person. So, um, let me show you what I'm doing here, okay? Good morning. Can you smell it? Hi, Ned. You better smell this. These are going to be some good biscuits, too. Got you in there? All right. So, I have caramelized and tenderizing. And, of course, I'm not going to use all of them. You know I got to save some for Sunday. Look at the caramelization. Look at that. I got to put a little more water in here because I don't want them to stick. What I'm going to do now is turn it down a little bit. Honey, those are some pretty yams. And I don't care if some of them stick. I'll deal with that. Mix it right on back up. Because you know that sugar... That's a good yam. Don't worry about that. You see that little spot? 
child, that's gonna be a good yam. I don't even think I'll use it in my biscuit. I think I'll use it to eat. Cause that's a good yam. That ain't nothing but caramelization. That's all that is. So some of them are just like I need them to be. So I'm going to start working on my mixture. So what I do is I'm going to take a few of them out. I'm going to mash them up real good. And I'm going to fold them into my drop biscuits. Just going to stir it in. Make me some sweet potato drop biscuits this morning. It's raining real bad here. So, and I've got Zoom and I always cook my Sunday meal on Saturday. Let me go calm it down a little bit. Mm-mm-mm-mm. make some eggs so let me rinse this um skillet out real quick quick then I need to put my water on for my grits Eggs. I gotta do some grits and I'm doing my biscuits. Y'all with me? What you say? You can see more of the stove than the frying pan. Well, I'm sorry about that. Sometimes you don't realize that the camera is low. So let me tell you what I'm finna do then. Um, in the skillet is the yam. Some of the yams are going into my drop biscuits. I'm about to work that up. I'm about to put the water on for the grits. And I'm about to um, do some, some cheese and eggs. Good morning to you all. It's a rainy morning here. It's raining pretty bad. And I know y'all don't want to just watch me. Hey, Sean Katria. Hey. So, um. You're going to buy a spoon. Oh, baby, Angeline, don't do that. I got everything you probably got in your kitchen. I just don't use it. Uh, I'm cooking in real life. I take my spoon rest off because my stove gets so hot with the oven going and the cast iron. I don't need nothing. I probably got more than you got. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Y'all ain't going to eat this. <laughs> just, just my family. I don't need you to buy me a spoon with. They sell them at the Dollar Tree, honey. You don't think I can't get those spoon with? I got a red one, got another color one, a multicolor one, honey. I got it. I got it. It's like the tree in a hole and a hole in the ground. <laughs> and the green grass grow all around and around. Uh, yes, ma'am, I commanded my day, Michelle Cato. You got to command your day. Because let me tell you something. Spiritual wickedness will start. It don't care. From the time your eyes open, the enemy is waiting on you. You better pay attention to your surroundings. So let's go ahead and quickly command our day before we start these biscuits. This is how we command our day. We wake up and say, God, I thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Whatever you want to tell him, you acknowledge him. You better. He holds the key and the power of your life in his hand. The second thing is do, we do, we love ourselves. We L-Y-F-E. We love ourselves first every day. Okay? We, 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 we love ourselves first every day. Mm -hmm. After God. The third thing is we pay attention to our surroundings. Don't be deceived. The enemy can have somebody right at your front door. 
your back door, any way he want to have them, at the grocery store. And we pray without ceasing. That means you better start talking to God because trouble can come anywhere while you minding your business. So you better be all the time having a praise on your lip. Lord, I thank you. God cover me and my family. Protect and keep us. Direct us. Lead us. Guide us along the way. Yes. So I'm going to get some flour, some shortening. I got the buttermilk. I got enough of these. I'm going to mash some of these. I'm going to show y'all how to make these drop biscuits, if that's all right with you all. Okay? They're just sweet potato drop biscuits. That's all they are. Now, let me let you see how these sweet potatoes are. You might like your caramelization. You might like yours lighter. But this is my syrup and my consistency of mine. So, let me let y'all see them real quick. Honey, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't think the enemy ain't waiting on you. You better think again. Let me tell you something. That was such a horrible, sad funeral. I couldn't go live. When somebody young and their kids just crying over them. So bad because they went to sleep. And all you could do is tell about the life and how funny they was. And the life of the party. The life of the party got to go too. Yeah. People with money got to die. Whoever you think is your favorite cook, got to die. So I'm going to turn you down. Because today, you might get some deep words. So if the enemy on here and want to start, I'm going to whoop you so hard with the word of God. I ain't got to say nothing. My soul is anchored in the Lord. Thank you for the stars. Um, I so appreciate it. And thank you all for the cash apps I received on yesterday. Some was for my birthday coming up uh, this upcoming Friday. And some was because of, um, you know, just people wanted to give me. Let me show you what I'm working with. Now, I'm sure you don't see. I'm sure you can see it because I'm looking at it. Somebody said they could see more of the stove than the skillet. Not this time. Not this time. So, I'm going to get my other stuff. I'm going to mash some of these up and... Show y'all how I work it. And um, you might do yours different, and that is absolutely fine. Some of these are going to be eight Sunday, and some of them going to go on my biscuits. That's just all it is. It's a split decision. Because I say a prayer every night. Whatever I do, I will get it right. With no regret. No get the shame this time. No, not this time. Once I surrender, I won't dare look back. Cause if I do, I'll get off track. So I stay away, patiently the answer. What will it be? Sight beyond what I see. You know what's best for me. Prepare my heart. Prepare my mind. For whatever comes, I'm going to be ready. And to pass every Let me get a couple of them out, mash them up for you. I was free to do what I wanted to. I lost everything, but I still have you. Let's 
put you right here and mash them up. Shortening out. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it back up. And like I say, I use shortening. You can use lower, you can use whatever you think you want to use. So now I'm going to take this shortening and just work it in here. I'm going to add my buttermilk. What did you just say about God? Because I want you blocked instantly. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm doing biscuits right now, sweet potato. And they're going to be drop biscuits. Hey, Jean. How you doing, Jean P. Sanders? Honey, I'm making these drop biscuits. Um, my my uh, ad man is on here today. She dropping people like hot biscuits. She's going to drop them like I'm going to drop these. So let me tell you. You want, again, you want to crumble this up just like this. These are drop biscuits. I'm sorry. I'm not rolling them out. Once you get them like you want them. And you got that work good. Then we're going to add. You'll see what they are. Then we're going to add um, buttermilk. Welcome, Miss Sheila Robinson. You knew. Hey, girl. Hey. Turn my yams off. I'm going to add sweet potatoes in here. After I do my buttermilk, okay? So, that being said, let's get the buttermilk. And you can use a spoon if that make y'all happy. Um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. Almond um, Joy got nuts. Mounds don't. <laughs> Vanessa Brooks, I'm going to do my thing. You see what I'm saying? Haters can't stand the way I flow. But they don't know what's in my call. So now I'm going to add the sweet potatoes. Let them be mad by themselves. It ain't going to stop nothing. It ain't going to stop nothing God got going on. It ain't going to stop it. And I'm going to fold these sweet potatoes 
into my biscuit. I'll do it. Yep, it's got cinnamon in it. It's got a little sugar in it. It's got a little nutmeg. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna go wash my hands. And if you wanna know where they came from, and you can tell me I'm making my biscuits wrong, but it's okay. I'm making them this way. Tell Chef Ramsey to call me. He got a problem with it. Tell Martha Stewart to call me. And the, and the sweet potatoes are going to have texture. See, you're going to have potato in your biscuit. Uh, if you want to learn something. <laughs> it, that's only if you want to. You know, one time I said to my teacher, oh, you flunked this person. She looked at me. She said, Tracy, I didn't flunk him. He flunked himself. So shorten yourself because you too naive to want to learn something. But for those that do, watch the process. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn you down so you don't have to look at the wall. Um, and you can look at what's in the skillet. Okay? Because it's going to go down. I got to wash my hands. Get some of this stuff off because I'm just dropping these biscuits. Honey, can't you see? And one day I'll live in a new land. Thank God I moved out to a brand new life. I changed my old way of thinking. I changed my whole way of giving. I changed my life and he gave me a new mind. Thank God I moved out to a brand new Drop these pretty biscuits. Let me get another cast iron skillet because that's what I'm using. Um, let me get these out the way. Hold on. Let me scoop these out. Get them out the way. Might use this one, but if not, I'll use another one. Sometimes when you're doing this, you don't know what you're going to do. You just end up doing what you're going to do. Look at that. Some people mad about these yams. They mad. They mad about them. Because I cooked them live for them. And they caramelize right. They're going to be warmed up after church, honey. And I get through giving God the glory for the things he has done. And what he rightfully deserves. Honey. Y'all don't know what my spirit just told me to do. My spirit told me. To leave some of this sauce in here with some oil and let it marinate on the bottom of those biscuits. I don't know. I ain't never done that before. I wonder what that going to be like. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all think I ought to do that? My spirit said leave some of this sauce. I'm, I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and take this sauce up. But I'm going to use some of it to drizzle on my biscuit. Just like this. Who want them? Okay. 
thought I'd take me a day off yesterday, give you a chance to miss me. <laughs> So when I woke up early this morning, hallelujah, I was clothed in my right mind, hallelujah, I looked all around me, and my family was doing fine, like Janice Morton. I want to thank him because he kept me, I thank him because he never left me. I can tell the world, tell the world, I am blessed. Well, I may not have a mansion, I'm finna drop these biscuits, but I have a place to sleep. I may not have a lot of money, but listen, thank God Tracy got food to eat. I want to thank him for how he kept me. I thank him cause he never left me. I can tell the world, tell the world. I am blessed. I am blessed. Well, when I woke up early this morning, I can't hear y'all. Hallelujah. I was clothed in my right mind. Hallelujah, I look all around me, hallelujah, my family was doing fine, hallelujah, I want to thank him because he kept me, I thank him because he never left me, I can tell the world, tell the world. I don't remix the song. Okay, I had to wash my skillet out. So we're finna drop the biscuits, okay? And um, I'm finna put some oil, canola oil. I'm gonna spray them first, the skillet. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm just singing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you see that skillet? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna spray a little oil. And I'm gonna put a little oil. May not have a mansion, hallelujah, but I got a place to sleep, hallelujah. I may not have a lot of money, but thank God I got food to eat. I want to thank him for how he kept me. I thank him because he never left me. And I can tell the world. Tell the world, I can tell the world, I don't know about you, tell the world, I am blessed, well, let's drop them, let me hear you say I am blessed, let me hear you say I am blessed, let me hear you say Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear you say thank you, Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. Thank you, Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah. 
I can tell the world. I said I can tell the world. I can tell the world. I am blessed. <laughs> Glory. And that's how you drop them. That's how you drop your biscuits. They're dropped, and I'm going to drop them in the oven. Y'all with me? All right. So, I'm about to drop these drop biscuits, sweet potato drop biscuits, in the oven. Got the oven on 350, but I'm about to take it up to 400. And the reason why I'm cooking them high and fast, I don't want my biscuit to dry out. And I don't want my sweet potatoes to get overcooked. Uh, again, these are sweet potatoes. Let me get you down on it. Let you see it before it go in the oven. These are sweet potato drop biscuits. And they're delicious. Okay. They're delicious and I'm going to get them in the oven. Got one more peek for those that just come in. I'm getting them in the oven. They'll probably be in here for a good 20, 25 minutes. Enough time for me to get these eggs going and this water for the grits. I haven't been to the post office. I won't go to Monday. Well, the Bible say the devil will fool the very elect. That's what it say. But finish reading. It didn't say it would. It said the Bible. The Bible says the devil would deceive the very elect. Uh, put a comma behind it. If it was possible. <laughs> it ain't. Uh, let me go get my uh, water for my grits. And water don't and water don't come season. So we are finna add salt. <laughs> if it was possible. So since it ain't possible. Um, uh, Satan, you gotta go. Satan, I'm gonna tear your kingdom down. Oh, Satan, I'm gonna tear your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom. Your kingdom down. Well, who who gonna help you? My mother, she's gonna tear your kingdom down. My mother is gonna tear your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom. Land. Let's make some grits. So Satan, we're gonna tear your kingdom down. Well, how you gonna tear it? My grandmama, she prayed your kingdom down. My grandmama, oh, she prayed your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all over this land. Killing people, Satan, we going to tear your kingdom down. Say, I done told y'all. God got me somewhere right now. You don't want to mess with me. Not my spirit. Mm -mm. You don't want to, honey. Because you've been building. We're going to do grits. Your kingdom, the water. I know y'all don't want to see the water. All over this land, the prayer warriors are going to tear your kingdom down. How did you have gone somewhere? Get out of line. Child, what you mad for? Oh, you got to Okay. 
Okay, let me get the, oh, the water's going and let's get working on these eggs. I'm using Velveeta. For those that don't like Velveeta, I love it. I love government cheese in the white box that say cheese. That's where I'm from. That's who I is. You can be more than you want to be. You can be embarrassed because I said it. I like the cereal that say cereal. I like goofy fruit. Remember the yellow stamps and I remember the green stamps. And the food stamp. And the food stamp box. The food stamp. They, they wasn't on no card, honey. No, no, they wasn't. I got a question why this water boiling and we finna beat these eggs. I got a question. Are you ashamed from which you came? Are you are you are you mad because I talk about government cheese? Are you mad because I talk about food stamps that used to be in a paper folder? They was brown, they were green, they were blue and purple. And you knew the blue ones and the purple ones was the most because the brown ones was one dollar. What you mad for? Because your cereal said cereal and your cheese said cheese. See, that's why God can't bless some of you. From whence you came, you are already ashamed. He said, with a pride comes a fall. Get me some now and see when I use them. Try me out and see. That's y'all problem. Yeah, you got a good job now. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, you make good money. I do too. But I ain't shamed from whence I came, honey. And if I had to go on, for whatever reason, to make my family survive, uh, uh, I'll swipe that card and put a pen in, uh, uh, like uh, the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> so I'm going to beat some eggs up. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to put some butter in this skillet with a little oil. I use butter in my eggs with a little oil. I start melting my cheese first. Y'all know how I do it. Then I fold my eggs in. Child, I ain't gonna never forget from whence I came. Not from whence I came. Mm -mm. I never should I never shall forget what he done for me. And the thing about where I come from, I like where I come from. I love my childhood because everybody was poor. Who passed in judgment? Everybody was in the line eating reducer free. You 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 think I care? Thank you for the song. Child, I'm so real. I might be too real for some of y'all. Y'all might say I'm embarrassing y'all. And if by chance I am, I'm not sorry for it. I'm not apologetic from which I came. But I'm finna do these eggs for y'all. We're gonna start off with some butter. Let me go over here and keep my butter room temperature. Let me get some butter. Not margarine. But I'm using butter, okay? This could be Lando Lakes. It could be Challenge. It's just butter. They not paying me. So I'm not going to promote them. Get whatever butter on sale. It might be your grocery store butter. Butter is butter. I'm going to put my little butter in here. And I'm going to turn it on. I can't read no long comments. I pray they good. Let me go ahead and put my little butter in my grit water. I already put some salt in the grit water. I'm going to put some butter in the grit water. Okay. I don't put no cheese in my grits when I make them. And I don't put no sugar. Now cheese on grits is good. But my husband likes sweet grits. So he can season his. So that's why I don't. If I want cheese, I just sprinkle it on top of mine. So... Okay, so now, I'm up, since y'all tired of looking at me, I'm going to turn it down. Y'all keep an eye on this here butter because I got to go over here and get some more eggs. Now, my eggs come from somebody's farm, okay? My uh, co-worker has a farm. My husband's co-worker has a farm, and she sent me the most amazing brown eggs. They brown and they tan. So that's what I'm using this morning. You can come up there. What's that? What's that? I'm using some brown eggs. Um, Jada sent me these eggs. My husband's co-worker. Her and her husband have a farm. They're very good eggs. They're fresh eggs. I 
I go through eggs oh so much. Okay. I'm going to add a little um, canola oil in with my uh, uh, and then we're going to cut up some Velveeta cheese. Just add a little bit because I'm doing a quite bit of eggs. And why I'm doing so many eggs is because on Sunday morning, I just get up and my husband, he has to preach tomorrow. So I won't do nothing but put this stuff in a container, take it to church for Avery. Put it in the microwave and I don't have to worry about cooking Sunday breakfast. That's why. I'm adding some milk to the eggs. And I'm going to whisk them. And now I'm going to add some cheese into the skillet because it's not got hot enough. I'm using Velveeta. I've got some sitting out for my class today. So, um, again, you won't see it. It's an advertisement that's going to go around and say Mama Comfort Cooking has an event going on. That's a dollar and 99 cent if you want to watch the Zoom class. Um, other than that, you won't be able to see it. So, we're going to start adding some cheese to the skillet. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera back up. Let me get it around. Let me wipe my hands. Here I come, y'all. Get my eggshells. Get them in the trash. And I turn it up. Hold on. My water hasn't come to a boil yet on my grits. When they do, we're going to incorporate those grits. What I do with my grits, once I start on my grits, I don't, um... I don't stop. I whisk the whole time. So if they're five minute grits, I whisk for five minutes. Now I've got four and a half cups to five cups of water in that pot. And I'm only going to use one cup of, um, of the um, grits. Because these are real coarse grits. They're enriched. They're not five minutes. So I'm just whisking. Somebody on here gave me this pretty whisk. And I so appreciate it. What's that? Hold on. Something got on my... Need it. Please don't argue with anybody on here. Just write unbothered. Don't argue with them. Don't comment. Don't give them the time of day. Don't call them out. Just leave them alone. It's something else going on. It really is not me. I don't even know them. It can't be me. So just pray for them. And keep it moving and stay focused on what I'm doing. And again, there is a fee. It's an event, but you don't have to come. You don't have to pay. All you got to do is say the three things that I say all the time. That's personal. That don't apply to me. Okay. But you ain't got to come in no more because you ain't even got to come. Like, you really don't have to come. Yeah, it's a block party going to go on because they mad. Some of them mad because they trying to start their page without God. And it just won't go nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Uh, Y'all want me to turn down on egg? Let's see what you say. Yeah, at 1.8 viewers... Tell them to go to somebody else. It's a lot of good cooks on here. I ain't going to give them no shout outs, but 
It's a lot up on him. So, pay attention to them eggs. That's what I see. And I do like to, uh, I love to, to cook as I go and wash my dishes up as I go. I'm not going to use a whisk, put my salt and pepper in there. I'm going to whisk that. And after that, I won't use the whisk on my eggs. Because all a whisk is going to do with your eggs is just cause them to separate more. Okay? And once I whisk this time, I won't use a whisk. I'll just fold them. Get the rest of that butter off of there. You know, you some waste in that butter. And there was some butter on there. We getting ready to do these grits. Alright, let me get my grits out. Get them ready to go in. I'm such a short girl. Hold on. Let me make sure my egg's low enough. Because I'm just going to fold those. That's all I'm doing. So let me make sure I'm not cooking them too fast. Just kind of pull them into them. Pull them in. Turn it down just a little bit more. Just kind of pulling them in from the corners. I'm going to shift you over to the um, grit. my grits and I'm coming over. You gotta wait, wait till I get that. You gotta wait. Okay, here we go. Let's come over here and let's do these grits. Sometimes it gets too hot. Okay, there we go. So once I put these grits in here, I've got salt. And I've got butter. And these are not five, these are not no quick grits. These are my enriched grits. Let me see how many, hold on one second. How many minutes is on this one? Okay, so I'm gonna be stirring a while. Uh, these are five minute grits. Oh, okay, I got two point K. Okay, let me, I'm multitask, so let me shift you over here for a minute so you can see these eggs, cause I'm finna, uh, those are cheesy eggs. So I'm gonna take them and pull them in again. And I love to cook my eggs in bacon grease, too. Mmm. I'm talking about a good egg. Bacon grease? Honey. Yeah. So now over here, if you, you want to see me in action, I'm going to be whisking. Don't nobody want lumpy gravy and they don't like lumpy grits. Yes, you can add milk, and I do add it. 
And you can also add uh, any kind of cheese you want once you get it to a certain point. You can add mascarpone cheese and anything. Mascarpone cheese is a good cheese. It makes stuff creamy. Um, don't have a lot of flavor, so it goes good in grits. And um, if you were doing um, shrimp and grits, you could use chicken stock and some mascarpone and everything. And then saute everything up and your garlic and your peppers and your onions and all that and pour it over there. That's how you make those type of grits and they're very good. And these grits are coarse grits. I didn't set no timer. Hold on. So let me check the chicken and stuff. They looking good. I just need to melt some butter. And, when, and if you keep stirring, then grits won't pop out over your stove. And don't have time to because you got it under control. You the grit police. They gonna do what you want them to do. You want to add sugar, you add sugar. If you want to add um, cheese, you add cheese. You want to cook yours in chicken stock, cook it in chicken stock. It's, it's, you, you are in control of everything. And even though your hand gets tired, like mine, a big girl can keep going, honey. She like a Duracell battery. She keep going and going and going and doing it and doing it and doing it well doing it and doing it and doing it well mm -hmm. and i'm looking at the clock so don't tell me i spent five minutes because it hadn't it's what i do for my family i want them to have the best then i push them off to the side and when I do get ready to add a little milk, I let mine settle and see if I need it. If I don't need it, I don't add it. I don't want too thick and I don't want them running. It ain't funny when they running. And remember, I use real butter. And I, I already added some. And you always want to add salt when you, when you really boil in real grits, not one minute grits. But anything you got to boil for a period of time because these grits are hard to season. And you can add more salt, but you want that salt to cook into the grit. Just like when you do macaroni and cheese, you want it to cook into the macaroni and cheese, into the noodle. Let me push it off the eye and show y'all how thick they're getting. Hold on. Let me calm them down because I don't want to get burnt. They didn't pop all over my stove. See how thick they're getting? You see? Now what my grandmama used to do, that's what I'm gonna do. I got about one more minute. My grandmama, she put a plate on top of them. Put another piece of butter. She chased them, see if they need any more salt. She put a plate on top of them. And that's the story of the grits. You need some milk, you add your milk, but they ready. I'm gonna turn them off, move them off the eye for a minute so they don't pop everywhere. Stir it a few more minutes just for it to calm itself down. I'm gonna get my spoon. Check on these eggs, they on very low. So you gotta know how to cook your eggs, see? You probably said them eggs is burnt, child, and, and ain't. And ain't. Come on, English teachers. You know I'm wrong, but I'm right. Child, and ain't. And they done. Mm-hmm. Fold them just like that. Yep. Turn them off. Let them relax. Um, 
see what else I gotta do. I gotta melt some butter. Hold on. To pour over my biscuit. Melt me some butter. Hold on one second. To pour over them their biscuits. Cause I can smell them and they need a little butter. Okay. Let's see where I'm going and what I'm doing. Do you know where you're going? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Do you get what you're hoping for? Oh, man. I got to put butter on. When you look behind you. Come on over here and check out these biscuits. They're not finished because I ain't put a bug. There's no open door. Do you know? Once we were standing still in time. I just, you know what? I love to pull my bug. But because these people are so weird. Hit that smoke alarm. Get, the, get a towel. And get, Wait, where's the towel? Down. Get this one, sweet thing. Oh, oh, oh. I have one. Sweet oh, Daddy thing. already took it off. Thank you, sweet one. Daddy already took it off. Thank you, very much. You can have this right Okay, now we got to go back in the oven for a few minutes. Y'all with me? I know y'all are. Let me use this. Let me put them back in the oven for a minute. Okay, hold on. Putting it back in the oven and I'm hitting broil. Turn it off. Hit broil. Don't leave your biscuits when you hit broil. And even though you may say, oh, they look done. They not done because of the sweet potato make them look like that. I still need to brown them a little bit. Danica Williams, you better come on over here and get your plate. And stop playing. Look at these hung grits. Lumpy what? <laughs> what? What did you say about my grits? Did you say my grits and gravy was not? No, you did. You didn't say that because you didn't mean it. Now, now you didn't mean it. Peppers in a jar is just like, you know, peppers with like banana peppers. Green peppers, jalapeno peppers. You just need the juice off of the peppers. They sell them in the grocery store. Thank you. That made me feel good, um, Watina Owens. You a cook that loves my cooking. Now, that's what I like. Let's respect each other's game. Because my grandma, she was the truth. Hey, Willie Johnson, I'm, I got you covered. It's, it'll be there. I'm going to ship on Monday. 
I'm telling you, and I got to stick with them. You can have some grits, eggs, and bacon, and sausage. I got it already. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm letting them brown a little bit. Okay, Maria Williams, where am I FedExing it? Don't put it on here. <laughs> I love y'all. Yes, I do. I'm the cook and you're my friends. I love you. I'm going to pull these biscuits out. Yes, I do. This is in my way, so I got to turn it over here. I love you. I'm the cook and you're my friend. Because I don't feel no way tired. And you can do bacon biscuits. You can do sausage biscuits with the sausage inside the biscuit. Why can't you? You do sausage balls, don't you? Let me get my biscuits out of here. I don't know where my um oven gloves are. Let me turn it off. Okay, let me zoom down on it. Because for some reason, I have to always make myself or make you all a believer. Not all y'all, but there are some just that just won't believe. They just won't believe you can do things more than one way. So. They hot, y'all. Y'all know they can fall apart. Trying to pick him up. Whew. That butter in there. Y'all think I'm finna bite this? <laughs> Get crazy. That's a sweet potato biscuit. That's a sweet potato biscuit. That's a sweet potato. Give me a um. Let me fix this plate. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna fix a plate for you. My mama said, "Don't eat in front of company. You ain't got enough to share. You wait till they leave." But I got enough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me put my um bacon on here and sausage. Turn my little biscuit that way. Now I'm gonna put some grits on here. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Come on, go with me for a minute. Take a trip so I can show it to you. I'm going to pull it down on here. Hold on. So you can get a bit closer. Had to move my little table stuff. Okay, let me just turn it down. So you got a sweet potato biscuit, cheesy eggs, grits, bacon, and sausage. And I did the bacon in the oven. How new? Y'all see how quick we cook this breakfast? Do y'all see how quick we cook this breakfast? Do y'all see y'all made some sweet potato biscuits? And these are, um, let me tell you something. I could have added some more sugar and I could have took me some powdered sugar and, uh, 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 and a little cream cheese. And I could have spread it over it while it was hot and turned it into a dessert. These biscuits, these biscuits are delicious. Do you hear me? And you can see the sweet potato all throughout. Look at that sweet potato hanging. And I didn't have to roll them out. You know, there's ways of shortcuts. You don't have to roll every biscuit. Don't let nobody tell you that. What happens with people when they roll their biscuits? You can roll them too tight and they come out, but they not fluffy. Mm -mm. Now you already know that bacon tastes good with sweet potato. Now I can eat just this by itself. I don't need the rest. Hmm. And them eggs, hmm, taste them. You cook them, <coughs> honey. Shonies, uh, who? I hop, not waffle. What house? Not mine. And I bless my food off camera. Mm hmm. I know. If you just take the time, we gonna cook a whole Sunday meal in an hour and thirty minutes today, and we're gonna be done. But you think of how much that meal will cost you in a restaurant? I do my bacon in the oven. Hey, Lakeisha Smith, beautiful singer. Uh, no, we black people. We don't eat together. You eat when you get ready to eat. Now, on Sundays sometime. So gross. So disgusting. It don't take all day to cook. <clears throat> Honey, this sweet potato biscuit is off the chain. You hear me? Look at it. You look at it. Look at the moisture now. The butter, the sweet potatoes. I don't understand what you're mad for. That was an inside joke. <laughs> you know, it's all right to pretend, but somebody asked me, y'all don't eat together? I don't set no breakfast table. Breakfast is ready. 
They eat when they want to. That's how I grew up. My mama put it out there. You better get up before them boys get up. Because they going to eat up everything. And I just got to be real. No, I'm not going to wait on them to eat. Mm -mm. And I love Mrs. Smith or black and bacon. Black label bacon. I like it. You hold up. Daddy'll fix you something. Okay. I want bacon. I know. And some eggs. Uh -huh. You want some breakfast sausages today? Um, uh, no. It'll get stuck in my teeth. Mm, give me a pump card. What's up? <laughs> I got you. Hold oh, yeah. it up. Let me tell you, I had six brothers. You better get up and eat when she says she threw cooking. And you can smell it. Bacon will wake anybody up. I like, um, I like the Black Label bacon. I like, um, Mrs. Smith bacon. I like Wright bacon. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Those are the three bacons that I buy. But honey, when I tell you, when your mama get up that morning, that Saturday morning, now I done got up, I done had a bath, I done put some stuff in my hair because I washed it yesterday, so it was looking a mess. Do you realize uh, the bacon and sausages in the oven? Okay. You better come eat. She ain't finna go through setting no table and pouring no orange juice. and She ain't gonna do it. She gonna tell you come eat. <laughs> Mommy Sometimes I like jelly Now jelly will taste good With mm. these biscuits today mm. Hey Billy Joe Oliver Hey T. Taylor Hey baby mm. It's not no issue. It's not going to be no issue because I'm not going to keep being so guarded that I can't say nothing. I said my mama didn't, didn't, we didn't eat. I mean, if you eat together with your family, honey, honey, ain't nothing wrong with that. But the question was asked, you going to eat before them? Y'all don't eat together? What you want me to do, lie and get in trouble with God? You just have to go back and watch my videos. I got so many biscuit recipes up here. So many videos for biscuits. I got garlic biscuits. I just did you some sweet potato biscuits. I got regular roll biscuits. Two of those are up. And I know I got three or four drop biscuits up. I make brownies. I got lemon squares. I got cake I'm working on to give away. But today I'm not doing that. I'm going to do my Zoom class. You write some apple butter or preservative. I got a prep. Oh, my eyebrows look a mess. So I change my eyebrows up. One season I wear them a little thin on the corner. And one season I still have them arched a little high. But now I want to wear them thick. All the way across I just want to deal with the natural hairline. I like them like that in the summertime. I arch my own eyebrows. So I'm going through the growing out period.
The Zoom class is the day at 2 o'clock. Um, you have to go to www.mamascomfortcooking.com. Moderator, do you mind putting all my information up on the bottom? Um, now, you will see me one-on-one. -on -one. I will walk with you one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you want to see me cooking on Zoom, that's going to be a paid event. Now, the Zoom people pay something totally different because they will have their own little sections and we're going to go through cooking everything that I've listed. But you go to www.mamascomfortcooking.com. Everything is Mama's Comfort Cooking. My email is mamascomfortcooking at gmail.com. My website, and make sure you spell it right, it's M-A-M-A. -A. Mama, like ma, ma, mama, comfort cooking. And um, my cash app is a dollar sign, Mama's Comfort Cooking. My Zelle is Mama's Comfort Cooking at gmail.com. Everything is Mama's Comfort Cooking. Yeah, they still sell apple butter. At the farmer's market, you can buy anything you want. And our people get down there at 6 in the morning. And uh, when I showed y'all over the bridge, and you can go through and buy all kind of anything. Really, they sell, uh, they pickle peppers and they have stewed tomatoes and green beans, stewed okra, uh, pickle okra rather, um, they have um, all kind of butter and preservatives. Yeah, I do PayPal. I have a PayPal on my website, mamascomfortcooking at gmail.com. I also have a square. I have a square. And it's, um, it's on my website as well. If you don't want to use PayPal, you can use square. I have PayPal, baby. I just said I had it, um, Nithya. I have PayPal. That's how people pay for their sauce, through PayPal and Square. Now, I've never had cream of wheat. I don't know. Baby, you give me some coffee. I never had cream of wheat. Okay. I'm out of sauce right now. I'll get some more sauce. There was a lady on here that did cha-cha. And peppers. And all that kind of candy and stuff. But she's not. She, she, she put a note up. She's not doing it right now. Um... She just said she wasn't going to do it. And that's all I know. I sent her some clients, but she's not doing it. I've never had cream of wheat. In the South, we eat grits and oatmeal. Good morning, Jan. How you say your name, Jan? Belby? Bellaby? Everything you need is pinned at the bottom. I've made a cheesecake. I have a um I have a apple cheese a French a French toast apple cheesecake on here. Baby, that thing is delicious. Honey, honey come through. Key, I done ate it. I did sweet potato biscuits, um, bacon, sausage, cheesy eggs, and grits. And the thing with grits, you cannot do like you used to. You can't put the grits in there and let them start popping all over the stove. Depending on what kind of grits, you gotta keep you gotta keep stirring them, baby. We get that outfit. Kinda, I'm talking about the pants to it. It failed. Don't worry about it. I know people up north eat a lot of cream of wheat, but in the south, we. Key, are you at the army base today? I'm not going to say which one. I just know she, she in the Air Force. My God, baby. She on here. 
She protects and serves. And she military. Uh, she don't play. <laughs> Don't make me come get her because she's like a man, honey. She got seven packs, not six. Uh, did you not? Who didn't get to see the sweet potato biscuits? I'll go and let you see them if you didn't get to see them. Who didn't get to see the sweet potato? Um, Yvonne Murray, will you please email me? Because I know you are in my class today. I need you to marinate your meat, and I need to tell you how to do it. Thank you for the frowny face. It means so much. You would love that cheesecake. Come on, Kiki. You know Bryson and Blake gotta eat and they bad too and I love them, but my God, I don't know what to do with neither one of them. That would make my nerves bad. I probably have to give them some Benadryl and tell them to go to sleep. Hey, Mother Deborah Dunbar. We love breakfast, and we love breakfast on the weekend. And my husband loves breakfast, and Avery eats like him. He, she's a breakfast eater. They can eat breakfast all day. My husband loves to go out to eat. Sometimes we drive all the way to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Honey, what's that breakfast place you like? We can't think of the name of it, but it's across from, what was that place you surprised me for my birthday, that, that big old haunted building? The Reed House. The Reed House in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And it's a diner. And they give you pancakes like that. Like that. Oh, thank you. Y'all know... Some of my earrings I made, see? I got me a little thing. I used to make Avery's, Habos, Kelby's, Habos. I'm very cre creative. I made this center piece on my table. All my arrangements and stuff like that. So who needs to see you? The Zoom started at 2 o'clock, and I will bring people in on Facebook if it shows that anybody has uh, decided to pay a dollar and 99 cents. Um, and if you do, then you'll see it. If not, you won't see the Zoom class. Well, come on, girl. I'll rewarm it up. Hey, Rita Darton Richardson from North Carolina. My husband can't eat breakfast all day. He love it. He like to relax. He don't bother nobody. He don't like to be on camera. He watch TV. He read his Bible. He got to preach tomorrow, so he in a preach zone. That means he ain't going to be bothered to go nowhere. Right. You'll watch us cook. Um, the class is different. You have to sign up on my website. We're gonna I'm gonna actually teach them technicals, how to make their macaroni, make sure it's loose enough. I'll be able to look at that pan and say that's too stiff. You need to add some more milk. I'm gonna show them how to make their roux. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do sauteed collard greens. We're gonna do short ribs in the Instapot or in the oven. I don't know which one they got. But we're going to get in and out this kitchen. Now, if we do their meat in the oven, I'm going to tell them how long to keep letting it cook. We're going to do cornbread. When we get through, we will have a full Sunday meal. Uh, they can eat it tonight if they want to. But I'm going to be looking at them. And I, I'm literally going to be able to see their face. And we're going to go through technicals. So once they get it, they'll be like, oh, I know how to do that. Now I was skipping that. You know, it's kind of like math. Math is something you build up on. And if you skip one thing, you'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's $1.99 as a spectator. If you've really taken the, the class, and you, you're going to be watching us, but 
it's 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 my first event. Facebook asked me to do an event. And so I said, well, I'll do the event, event when I feel like it's something that would be worthy of it. And then I just thought this morning, because I just did it this morning, and I said, well, why not do the Zoom? Because this is my first Zoom class on technicals. Yeah, this is a technical class. Um, so y y y Yvonne Murphy... Um, did you buy your collard greens already chopped up? Have you cut them off the uh, stem? It should be some circulating saying events. Yes, it's the City Cafe in Chattanooga, Tennessee, across from the Reed House. We love, we drive there just to go eat. But at the same time, I like to walk around downtown. I might walk slow, but I be walking. And before my injury, I was running and walking. Some people need technicals, and it's okay if you don't understand and know how to do something. But I can't teach you technicals just on the live. I can't do it. It should be on my page. You go under events, and then they'll show you the event that's coming up. And you can sign up. Who just signed up for it? Can you help the persons that don't know what to do? My cooking class is today at 2 o'clock on Zoom, and I'm going to turn the camera on Facebook if I got any spectators at 2.30 because I got to get the prep out the way. Yeah, those sweet potato biscuits was good. That, that was a good meal. It's like, look, you know it was good. This all I got left. I was good. Um, if y'all want to come to church with me, the reason why I don't bring y'all to church all the time, one, is that it's not designed for nobody to try to judge how our church is ran, how our musicians play, or how we sing. That's a sacred time. And I'm not going to let nobody come in in that place. I, I don't want nobody to get in trouble with God. The second thing is, I, I didn't bring you to church. It's because I didn't want to be forceful. I didn't want nobody to feel like I was doing this and you had to come or you had to bless us. Um, I'm very careful with you all because I don't know you all. I use house Italian, Yvonne Murray, house Italian. Um, I don't know what time it would be your time, but my time, I'm on Georgia time and my time is going to be two thirty. Hey, we on Central, honey? We on Eastern. Thank you, babe. But you're welcome to come to church. I'll turn the camera on. I'll be like that commercial say, I'll leave the light on. The Accor Hotel. Can you tell somebody what they do? What did you do, uh, Gina Super? What did you do when you paid? Somebody asked what you do. It should be on my page under events. I'd love for y'all to support me because um, my birthday coming up April 30th and we're going to have a good time on my birthday. Yeah, I, I feel a giveaway in my spirit. Yeah, you're going to give me if you want to, but I'm going to give you because I want to. It's a difference. Tara, Sheila, you going to church with me, son. Girl, be on time, I'm leaving. Do you have a grocery list? The grocery list is for the people that are actually taking the Zoom class. It's not for spectators. No, you have to actually be registered to take the Zoom class. Once you do that, you get the grocery list. I do have a grocery list. I've already sent it out, too. My list is not going to be on my Facebook page. If you did not pay to take Zoom, you're not taking Zoom for $1.99. Let's get that right. You're watching me teach these people. But you have to go to my website 
if you want to get the technicals, the list, and cook with us. Because I'm not going, I'm not, that wouldn't be right for them to pay. And then you think you're going to get the same thing they're getting. Mm -mm. No, they paying for technicals. I'm going to stop and talk to them. My moderator will be here. She'll turn the camera on. She'll, she'll let them I mute them. They can tell me just what problems they're having. They let me look into their pot and they are, they're going to get a link. Uh, the Zoom link is going to go out. They connect to it. I'll be sitting there waiting. The moderator will open it up. They're going to be talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, cooking with me one-on-one, -on -one, basically. Guide me along the way. Lord, if you lead me, mine is April the 30th. I cannot stray. Can I see your comment? They go so fast, Bridget Stevenson. What was your comment, baby? Because... If I wish she was on the other end of this, you see how fast it go. You are not, where is that at? My uncle was the pastor of Greater Springfield Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. His name was Solomon Whitfield. We call him Sonny. Sonny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a banana pudding today on Zoom. They're getting a whole meal today. Happy birthday, Sally Russ. If you, if you want to take the Zoom class, you have to go to www.mamascomfortcooking.com. Go on, baby. Don't you spit? Not let that come out your mouth. Go, don't let that come out your mouth. Um, church will be set, uh, at eleven fifteen. What recipes, Mary Jones? Do I have what recipes? Let me see what you say. If it is a cooking program, why would we have to pay? Let's rephrase. Why would they have to pay you to show how to? Well, first of all, they don't have to. They signed up because they want to, Renee. Let me break you down because you on here all the time. Now, for some reason, you, you all think I'm not worthy of my labor. You don't have to take the cooking class. But there are some people who want to learn how to cook. And so I can't, I'm doing technicals. They have to pay if they want that. They don't have to. But if that's what they want from me, they have to. What is it? You don't even have to pay to watch because you won't get to see it if you don't pay. Facebook is not going to open it up to everybody. And Zoom costs me money. So when you ask me why do they have to pay, if I don't have to break it down, why did you ask the question? Because when I give out gifts and when I spend money to give you all gifts, should I not do that? Why should I should I not do that? Do you not want anything from me? Cuz I'm just kind of curious. I get kind of curious like you do. So since I don't have to break it down to you, I'm just curious. Don't it take money to buy land? You don't have to do it. You don't have to watch. You don't have to give a dollar. You don't have to give a star. You don't have to become a, sport, a supporter. But it's crazy when you think nobody's time is worth nothing. Who would go to work and not expect to get paid ever? Ever? Never, ever, 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 ever. And that was not an unbothered for me because it's just, I sometimes you just have to write the vision and make it plain. Uh, if she ain't even taking a class, that's number one. So it don't pertain to her. Number two, 
Why ask the, the question when you ain't coming? You ain't giving, you ain't watching, and you ain't coming. I can't help it. Yeah, and, and a lot of times it be people. I can go right now and tell y'all she ain't signed up. I know for a fact. I overlook those comments a lot of times when I see. But, um. She said I didn't have to break it down. She didn't have to ask it. I never would have broke it down if she never would have asked. Y'all ever think about that? People so backwards. Let me tell y'all something. The last giveaway, I, I spent $600 and I mailed stuff out. Nobody asked me why was I doing that. Not one person. Why you why you giving all this stuff free? You could be making money. Why are you spending your money giving out Coca-Cola shakers and all the favorite things you use? Why? Why? It's never that. It's only when something can come back to me. I be watching people like do y'all ever watch people on here and wonder how they got that many people and how they got that many people following them they ain't in the kitchen cooking like me and sweating they just sitting in front of the camera talking about nasty stuff i'm just saying you're right why ask why It take money to buy land, baby. When I be closing on them trans transactions, you ain't finna sit at that table without no money. Why they tell you to bring it? You want that house, don't you? Why you get up and go to work? You want that paycheck, don't you? These stars, that's why I tell y'all I'm so real. I have to work. I got $86 right now in stars. That's all it equate to when I get it, which will be next month. Uh, May. Go to my website. If you want to know anything else about the Zoom class, www.mamascomfortcooking.com. If you don't want to take the technicals, just pay to watch. If you don't pay to watch, I, I'm done with, with Facebook for the day as far as you seeing me. I'm not going to block Renee. She can block herself. She can block me. I'm not going to block her. Because she asked that question. It's just the way she came at me with it. She said. She said it this way. Then she said well let me word it this way. Then I was like well let me break it down. You ain't got to break it down. Well you want to argue because you, something else is bothering you. Uh, because you ain't signed up. It, 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 ain't, it ain't even hurting your wallet. Now, to pay to watch, you 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 on Facebook, you go to my page under events. It's just $1.99. If I ain't worth $1.99, you really ain't trying to cook like me. You really ain't trying to watch me. I'm not going to block Renee. I'm just not going to do it. But some people just don't really ever think nobody deserves nothing. And that's the truth. I don't, I don't holler no, give me stars. I don't say, I need you. I, I don't do that. Mm -mm. Lynn Lynn, it's up there, baby. Lynn Lynn Green. Just to watch me, it's a dollar and 99 cent. But if I click you on my Zoom, which I will be on my tablet, that's where the technicals are going to come in. And I see your face finally. Because you will see mine all the time. Um, so that event is on my website, www.mamascomfortcooking.com. And the class is today. But I wouldn't have blocked her. Please unblock Renee because I don't want her blocked. She asked a question and I answered it. 
um, and I'm going to answer them like that because the labor is worthy of your hire. There are some cooks, I go and watch some cooks, they don't, they don't break down nothing. They don't say nothing. Some of them just do it, but I try my best and this just is what it is. Renee, I'm going to tell you what the marinade is. Did you send me an email? I mean, uh, Yvonne Murphy, did, did you send me an email? I want you to take your Dale. And I want you to take your House Italian. And I want you to take your Balsamic. And I want you to put your meat after you rinse it off in a bag. And marinate it. You can do it now. If you don't get to it, it's okay. We still going to work. You, when you sign up for the class, you get a full list. Are you good at what you do? I don't. I don't know. God is good at what He do. I love you too, Emma Thomas. I took yesterday off because it was a very emotional day. Now I baked that family a heaven, heavenly pound cake. I met a girl from Arkansas that watched me that happened to be there. She came in for the home funeral, the home going. And um, it's a small world. Uh, you never know who connect you. Come to find out, she lives in Arkansas, but she was married to his brother. Her, her sister and her watch me. It's a small world. That's why it's good to be who you say you are. And I try to do in compliance with Facebook. I try to give them an event. I never charge for you all to watch me. But um, this is uh, somebody else paid for these classes. So if you want to see what I'm doing with them on it, then it's a good thing um, for a dollar and 99 cents. I gave them a heavenly pound cake and everything. It was hard yesterday. I can send the ingredients, but let me tell y'all something about procrastination. I've been talking about this Zoom class for a whole month. One whole month. And and I only had two people that found 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 it that they would want technicals with me. And now today I'm having to rush my live right now to get off to send lists to people because y'all waited at the last minute. Okay, well, just tell me why you think you can say that. Can I just go to the Bible, if y'all don't mind? Because the word of God won't fail. There was ten virgins. Five was wise, and five was foolish. They headed out to meet the bridegroom. The five wise went and got extra oil, filled up their, linen, their lanterns and everything. But the other five didn't want to. They waited. They didn't get extra oil. They didn't fill their lanterns up. And so when it was time, they ran out. They couldn't see. Their lanterns became black. Y'all know lanterns, them old cast iron oil lanterns. It burned out. So they looked over there to the five wise and asked, could they have some of their oil? That's why you have to have oil in your vessel. Your lamp trimmed and bur burning for the bridegroom. Had they shared theirs, the bridegroom wouldn't have found them. They would have been in the dark. Everybody can't shout stuff and jump at your command. So now the five foolish, they done missed the bridegroom. But the five wise was like, no, you had enough time to get you some oil in your lamp. You, you should have been prepared. In the life we live in, preparation is necessary. Being prepared. We talked about that one time. 
being prepared in the midst of the preparation. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You got to prepare to die. You got to prepare to live. You have to prepare to go on a trip. It takes preparation. That means that you put it into action, what you're preparing. Yeah. Yeah. So, the five wives were set, honey. I ain't finna miss my bridegroom. I ain't finna miss mine. You had the same amount of time as everybody else. But you waited. You missed your plane. I'm going to talk about my daughter. My daughter was headed to Las Vegas with the Delta Sigma Thetas, her friend. To celebrate one of them turning 30. They're older than she is. Just, you know, they are like between the same age, a year older than each other, two years. And, uh... My daughter got to the airport and she missed her first flight. She was crying. And I said, why you didn't get there sooner? Well, of course she got mad and she got off the video because the reality was I was saying the truth. You can't get to the airport and they have standbys and you got 10 minutes to board. They shut the door. Now God knew her heart. The traffic is bad. Her friend got there late. So God put some favor there. But now when you just flat out lazy, sometimes you don't get that favor. So she called on the plane happy because they put a first class in a bigger plane with less people. She could stretch out more. She was like, I'm glad. I, I missed my flight. Sometimes delaying situations are blessings. But then there are some times we're slowful. And that's the difference between the five wise and the five foolish. The five foolish were slowful. They had the amount of time to do what they needed to do. So if you click on the it, it'll go you can go on in. And once you go in, um, my marketing person will email you everything you need. I pray we all be ready at his return. Now, if you just want to watch, it's a dollar ninety nine cent. But if you want me to sit there and help you and look at stuff and take from my whole family all day long. It's going to cost. Now the last time I checked. Everybody on here. You. You cook the way you want to cook. You don't have to cook the way I cook. But if you want to cook the way I cook. It's going to cost you today. That's why I said. You got to have oil in your vessel. Your lamp trimmed and burning. Get ready for the bridegroom. Do you want to be wise or foolish? You don't want your children out here. Let me talk to y'all. Don't make your kids get out here and have to do no GoFundMe to bury you. Because people will give you and talk about you later. Even if you can only get ten dollars or $20,000 worth of insurance. Stop what you're doing and wasting money. If you play the ding-dings, if you do scratch-offs, the lottery, whatever your habit might be, have enough money to pay a monthly insurance policy. Because people talk about the folks after they do the GoFundMe. They talk about your children. Your children are already going through enough having to bury you. Or if you got children, make sure your children... Or riders on your policy. Make sure they get some insurance. They riding around him. It's like driving a car. And never checking the oil. Never checking the tire pressure. Never checking the engine. The transmission. You know. They need insurance. Because people will talk about you. Well I can't believe Willa Jean. 
Didn't have no money to buy bar, uh, to bear. Didn't have no money to bury Eugene. Child, did you see they got a cash out? Child, do you see this and that? You got to be prepared, even though we don't like to think about it. It's once appointed for man to die. After that is judgment. You got to prepare that body to go back into that ground. You don't want people to have to bear with you because they will talk about you. And then you don't want people to be talking about you if you just buried your child. Or you don't want nobody giving your children a hard time talking about what they did if they had to help your children bury you. In all you're getting, just get an understanding. Just get an understanding. Because the Bible said when we give, we shouldn't give begrudgingly anyway. So if you're going to give just to talk about the people, you shouldn't have never gave it all. And that's all I'm saying. And you can say, I can't afford it. You afford what you want to. You can afford what you want to, even if it's term insurance. If you can't get whole life because it's ex more expensive, get you a little term. No, you ain't going to become a millionaire. You don't have to have a million dollars and all that. But get something. Listen, I teach home buyers classes. I want y'all to understand. Some of my hardest people is when you got to put people on a budget. Because they don't like to tell themselves no. They'll tell you no. But they don't like to tell themselves no. You can sit around and say, I see the money. I see how you can save. And this time next year, we can get you in a house. We can get your credit score up. You have enough money for your appraisal. You have enough money for your earnest money and your down payment. I can find it. Just as simple as, can you give a dollar a day? Can you not buy a soda pop? It's a dollar and 89 cents. That's $365. Some people don't even have that in their savings right now. I can show you. But the point is, is that, are you willing? God is able. He said, now unto him that is able, his ability don't go nowhere. But will you let him? Not, don't bring that on him this live, girl. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not gonna go through nothing. I'm not gonna beg nobody to watch me for a dollar. If a dollar ninety nine cent gonna make you mad, then just act like I tell y'all the three things. That is personal. It does not apply to me. And okay, you don't even have to get mad. You don't. We, we 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 get upset too much over stuff that it you on the other side. I'm sitting here looking at you. You're on the other side of this video. What you mad for? If you ain't going to take the class, what are you mad for? It don't apply to you. You're not taking the class. You're not watching today. When I go live, if you didn't pay to watch, you're not going to see me. It's like I never was on Facebook today. Don't you dare worry about it. Mm -mm. I wouldn't worry about it if I was you. Mm -mm. I just would ignore it. That's how I see it. Because Facebook going to fix it anyway. Facebook going to give you some peace today. Because they ain't going to let you see me. I'm going to be live, but however they do it, they going to block it. It's just a dollar and 99 cent to watch. I rent movies sometime off my TV and pay more than that. And I only get to watch them one time. Y'all see me every day. And if it bothers you, you got to check yourself and ask yourself, why is something that's not pertaining to me bothering me? Mm -mm, something else is going on with these people, I'm telling y'all. That's what anybody, you use a debit card. You don't have to use no credit card. Yes, LaVangela Wilson, you can email me. People email me. Now, when you inbox me, 
Sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't. Because the email, when the inbox gets so full, it pushes people all the way to the bottom. And it take all day long to go through all those messages. And some of them just be rude comments. I'm charging today, Terry Cunningham, because I'm teaching a class. I'm not charging you. Because mm -mm, you're not going to come. So you say, oh, you charging now? No, you can take that rumor and run with it. It's not no now. Mm -mm. That's why when you come in, you should say, what's going on? What y'all talking about? Quit trying to stir a pot and make people more upset because you ain't going to come to it. You're not even on here all the time. You are a random person that randomly passed by and random, randomly watched me. Child, they mad over a dollar and 99 cent. That's buying a Coca-Cola at the store. When I get off of here, Yvonne Murphy, I'm going to go to your email. I'm, I'm just getting ready to get off in just a minute. And some of the people that's asking, they ain't my regular people. I know my regular people. I, I got a good memory. I guess because I have to deal with so many people in real estate. I know people that are regulars and people that are floaters. He's a floater. He, she, I don't know which one it is, is a floater. Uh, Renee, I'm done with that. Renee, whatever's bothering you today, um, I don't know how to say your last name. I'm done with that. You block me. I'm not blocking you. I'm, I'm not blocking you. Block yourself. It's a way you can do it. You don't have to watch me. That's on you. You the one come on my page asking a question. I answered it. And you didn't like it. Now, you don't have to give me nothing ever, Renee. What was that? But don't ever ask me for nothing. Okay? Because I'm a giver. And I don't never ask you for nothing. I don't never ask you for nothing. Not even your sorry hand in marriage. Color purple. <laughs> I love that. I'm not, uh -uh, uh -uh, I'm on the line. Not even your sorry hand in marriage. Y'all leave her alone. Don't y'all say nothing to her. It's something going on. Something going on. I'm telling y'all. Y'all gonna understand it's spiritual wickedness. It's spiritual wickedness. Command your day. Pay attention to your surroundings. This girl been off this page and she done come all the way back on here again and still wanting to argue, argue with me, Mother Dunbar. You got the anointing oil. It breaks the yoke, the anointing, and sets the captive free. Why do you keep coming back on here? I can block you. You can block you. I'm not blocking you. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you I'm not. Renee, ain't nobody harassing you, baby. You harassing me. We ain't done nothing to you. Why are you still on here if you feel like she says um, Facebook rules is harassment? So she'll probably go file harassment, but Facebook will go back and watch my video and realize that I'm not going to block her. And then they'll tell her that it, it's fine. It's not against community standards. That's how people try to mess you up. I know Facebook rules, um, and I'm not worried about it. Because I'm not going to block you. All you have to do is stop watching me. That's it. And that's that. And when they re read your comments. Because of when you send it. They're going to find everything you say. They're going to realize you keep coming back on here harassing me. Uh huh. Because I'm charging today for a class. An event that Facebook set up. Mmm. Wonder if Facebook going to get their own sales. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> They don't go by what if Facebook watch, Facebook pays very close attention. They won't even let us comment to people that's ugly. They just tell us to delete it so we don't harass nobody. They don't. They she don't have a ground to stand on. Y'all don't even have to worry. Mm -hmm. 
It's, didn't I tell y'all to pay attention to y'all surroundings? That's spiritual wickedness. And, and something won't let her get off of here because all she got to do is quit watching. And the, the name is not going to be called no more. She's just going to be listed as a she. See, she's still on here. Who harassing people? Poor thing. I hate what is going on. It's troubling you and you woke up to a brand new day with the stuff that you was dealing with yesterday. And you decide you want to bring it over here to somebody else's stuff. And then you say you're not a snitch. Yes, you are. Because you said it. Nobody on this page said it. You said it. Because what's in you going to come out. And so you said it. You said what you are. Why do I have to block you when all you got to do is quit watching, baby? This is what you do. Take your finger. Okay? And you slide it to the next video. And go watch somebody else. You don't have to be on him. I don't have to block you. Just slide it. Slide your finger like this. Next video. Next video. And then you're going to find somebody you want to watch. That you can ask all the questions in the world. And because they give you the answer, you won't get mad. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. So take care, little girl. We see you around the way. You're right. She's going to have to keep talking. Because y'all know what? Today is a good day. I thank God for this day. I tell y'all to pay attention to y'all surroundings. Command your day. I'm commanding my day. I see what I'm dealing with now. I'm commanding my day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can block herself. She knows she can unfollow me and not watch my videos. But she still want to be on here. So y'all give her a little room. There's something on here she still want to see. Just give her a little room. She's having a bad day. It's something going on personal. Um, uh, Let me tell you something, uh, Bessie Henry. I'm not feeding it. She's coming on here talking. But again, y'all ask me questions and when I give you the answer, why are you questioning me when it comes down to the fact that I'm not, all she got to do is not watch? She just wants me to block her so, she, so she'll have some type of way of coming against me. Yes, I'm looking forward to the class. Let me see what time it is because I need to be getting ready. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get off of here, honey, because I got to get myself together. So remember to command your day. Love yourself first. Give God the glory first. Love yourself first every day. Um, I love you. Yes, I do. Those that pay will see me again today. Zoom will see me in a little bit. And we're going to cook and do technicals and have a good time. I, I'll see y'all later. All minds clear. It's all mine's clear. Amen. Let's watch on out. Mother Dunbar, I know you got me. You ready? Here we go. I'll get a couple of ushers at the door. I don't know if head ushers on here this morning. Might be a little too early. I think she passed through a little early, but she may be gone. And may God's peace be with you too with me again. And for some of y'all, the Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I see y'all tomorrow. And uh, for those... Uh, Today, around 2 and 2.30, I'll be seeing you. I love y'all. Yes, I do. I'm the cook. You're my friends. May the Lord watch between me and thee. While we absent, one from another, in Jesus' name. Bye, y'all.